So here's my big bag of stuff. I can't wait to show you what's in it, guys. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Style Apparel. I am back with another haul video. So, basically, I went to a charity shop. I wasn't expecting to get a lot of stuff. <laughs> £81 later, I leave. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, yeah, so... I didn't video any footage in the charity shop because at the end of the day it is quite a small one and the staff are really chatty in there they're really nice and um, we actually made friends with the manager and she said that this Andy's that we go to is their flagship shop for their charity and she has also worked in the distribution distribution part of it so she knows what's going to be coming in and they get all the best stuff so she's even said to us we can take in a list of brands that we like and she'll keep it back for us which is great they're the type of contacts you want people make friends with the staff when you go out anyway i'm going to show you what i bought i'm really excited about it um i think it's some really good stuff so let's get cracking i always try and get my videos done first and then do the listing because obviously I need to remember what I've paid for stuff. So rather than trying to think of it off the top of my head, because if you know me, if you're on this channel, you know that my memory is shocking. So I like to keep the tags on to show the video and then I take the tags off and I list. But anyway, let's get into it. So this caught my eye when I went straight in the front door of the shop, put my hand sanitizer on, walked in and I saw this and I was like, you're coming home with me. <laughs> Anyway, it was £4, so there's a little tag. Look at this. Just look at it. <laughs> My husband thinks it's awful. He was like, that is really ugly. Why did you buy that? And I was like, because it's hand knitted. It's got like a bit on the zip. It's got a YKK zip, which is always a sign of quality. And it's got this woolly plait bit on it. I just think it's fab. It's like a woolly hat, but it's a bag. It is made by Kusan, I think it is. There you go, there's a tag. Anyway, it's got a big zip. When you open it up, it's beautiful. It's all quilted inside. You see that? It's really nice and clean. It's got a big tag there. Kusan accessories. I'm sure I'm saying that right. 100% wool outer, 100% cotton lining. You can hand wash it as well. What more do you want? What more do you want in a bag? I love it. I think it's like a big woolly hat. Now, if you went to Kusan, I'm pretty positive you'd be able to get a matching hat and scarf and maybe even a pair of gloves. Now, I just love that idea. <laughs> I've never seen a bag like this. It's got like a hard bottom as well, like a like a hard board at the bottom so yeah it's just lovely anyway four pounds i am going to put this on for i think i'll put it on i'm going to put it on top end i'm going to put it on 40 pound and i'm going to aim on my best offers um for around 25 to 30 but i might get an outright sale because it's funky as hell i just love it how nice is that there is a mark on the bottom let me see if I can find it. There it is, look. Like, but it's not massively noticeable. I'll stick it in the listing anyway. But I don't think anyone's going to frown upon that for a tiny little mark on the bottom. I absolutely love it. <laughs> and no, I'm not keeping it. Before anyone comments, I am not keeping it. Yeah, it's it's not really something that I would use because it's not practical for shopping and, and sourcing and everything else. Um, but I do love it. <laughs> Anyway, next thing, £10, Fen Wright Manson silk dress, brand new with tags, but it is tagged up at £180, it's beautiful, I love the style, I find myself getting very picky these days, so anyway, what I'm going to do with this video, as I've just done with that, I'm going to tell you why I've bought things, so it gives you a bit more of an insight on how I shop, Um. As everybody knows that is here 
on most of my videos i have started to think about my profit margins differently and i'm trying to go for higher end items at a good price but i know that i'm going to make over a certain amount of money now with that bag i bought it for style alone i didn't even really look at the make of it the style of it and everything i think it's amazing but then when i did as you'll have seen in my reseller top tips video, you research when you don't know something. When I researched it, I found out it was a pretty good make. So it's not too bad, not too shabby for Julie. <laughs> anyway, I bought this because it's Fenrite Manson. I bought this because it's new with tags. And I also bought it because it is silk. Um, it actually says on it somewhere. There you go. Pure silk. Um, and like I say, it's worth a lot of money. So I spent £10 on it and I love the style. Now, I won't buy anything these days that I think is style, you know, like the style's maybe a bit dated. Um, and I'm not talking vintage. I love vintage. I'll buy that all day long. But I'm talking like if I think something really isn't going to go because it's quite out of date, not really in with the trends, then I won't get it. But this is lovely it's got a bat wing sleeve it's like almost like an army print but also a little bit animal i'm not really sure to be honest i'll probably put animal and army print in it but it's 100 percent silk it's lined it's gorgeous now i paid 10 pound for it it's marked up on the label 180. i'm gonna aim for 100 on this so i think that's pretty good profits okay Next one, next one. I'm real pleased with what I got, if you can't tell. Adriana Papel. I'm sure that's how you say it. This is a size 10 dress. I paid £6. Get the tag the right way around, Julie. Right, I bought this because this is a new brand that I found. Um, in one of my past videos, I bought a jumpsuit and I found out it was really expensive. And that was new with tags. This one sadly isn't, but it's a lovely, lovely dress. Very nice, very thick, very heavy, quality material, nice pattern. Um, I think it is really, really nice. So that's why I bought it. <laughs> and I also think I can get around 50, 50 pounds for it. Another reason why I bought it. So yeah, it's good. It's got a zip back, it is lovely. It's like a textured material, like woven. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, I think I think I can get fifty pound for that easily. Now this one I was very excited about. You'll see why in a moment. This is um, this was six pounds and it is vintage Laura Ashley. It's a dress. It is a small. Um, it's velvet. Look at this. It is absolutely stunning. This time of year and coming up to winter, someone's going to snap this right up. It's a maxi as well, which makes it even more desirable. Now I'm going to aim high for this. The reason I always buy vintage Laura Ashley is because it sells like hotcakes. People love it. And even if you get a really fugly dress, the fugly things go for a lot more. So my advice is if you see this label or a label similar, there's different colours. Um, you can actually Google about what decade certain coloured Laura Ashley labels are from. I can't remember what the website is, but if you put in um, vintage Laura Ashley labels or vintage Laura Ashley decades or something like that, it'll come up and you'll see it. It's right there. Um, some lady's done a website and it's amazing. So thank you to her if she ever watches this video. <laughs> Um, she's the one that's helped me learn about this, but I pick up anything at a reasonable price. Now, I think £6 for this is amazing. Like I said, it's maxi, it's beautiful. If I was a bit smaller, I'd probably keep it myself because it's gorgeous. But yeah, I'm going to put that on for £65 or best offer. My best offers will probably be marked around the £50 mark. We'll see how it goes. Watch my Instagram to see if I sell it. Oh, and my sale videos, of course. <laughs> I'm so ditzy, I do apologise. Anyway, I picked up loads, loads of Nina Leonard. Now, I love Nina Leonard. If you don't know this brand, Google it. Google it, eBay it, see what's sold, see what's got out there. This was £5 anyway. Style on this one isn't particularly wonderful, but I love the colours. Look at these colours. 
beautiful this time of year this sort of coloring absolutely gorgeous it's in lovely condition anyway here we are it's like a knee length midi type dress depending on how tall you are size large i'm gonna aim for 60 60 55 no 50 to 65 for this not sure yet on exactly how much but it's lovely it's really stretchy too i love stretchy dresses this is great for this time of year we'll look cracking with a pair of dot martins and a hat or even a pair of shoes and tights on a night out with a nice bag you can dress this however you want it's gorgeous so yeah the reason i bought this style brand and profit to be made i love i just love the pattern isn't it gorgeous i mean of course i'm biased because it's purple and it's got purple I love purple and it's got purple in it and green actually green is my second favorite color but yeah absolutely beautiful that's gonna go quick i think anyway <laughs> right i'll show you my nina leonard's first if i can sift them all out this was a this was six pound this was an extra large nina leonard again this one's lovely it's got like a excuse me lace pattern to it but it's not lacy it is the actual pattern on the material. It's got like a rouged up sleeve. I don't know if you can see that around the cuff. I love this. Again, cracking with a pair of Doc Martens or boots similar and a nice hat, cardigan. Look gorgeous. This will look gorgeous on. I love it. Again, 60, 50, 50 to 65 pound on that easy easy money that is beautiful i love it right and then i've got another nina leonard hang on let me find it now this one i bought for the color um again with that one bought for the brand bought for the pattern bought for the style bought for the the color yeah and the profit margins this one was five pound this is an extra large as well it's another nina leonard someone was having a massive clear out obviously love the colour on this very Christmassy I'll be putting Christmassy red in my description and in my title it is beautiful and again look you can see the rouge sleeves better on this one this is exactly the same style as the one that had the lace pattern on so I reckon they've probably come from the same person it's lovely and they're immaculate so again for this this one might I, get, I might get a little less for this just because it's just red it's nothing particularly special but it's stretch it's beautiful it's a nice big size i'm thinking about i'm gonna put it on for the same um 50 to 65 pound but i think i may get a little bit lower okay where are we at so this i bought for the style and the size usually oh sorry hang on a minute i'm just wrecking my husband's tidying up down here <laughs> i get in trouble don't normally buy joanna hope unless it's something special but i paid seven pound for this it's a size 22 as you can see it's black but i just love there you go i'll show you the joanna hope tag there you are look at the detailing around the neck all of the stones are there i hope none of them have dropped out since i bought it and it's around the back as well lovely button back fastening hate that put in the tag through the material pet peeve please if you work at a charity shop stop doing that don't do it you ruin clothes anyway <laughs> this is a velvet dress so i bought this because of the style i like the beads around the top i think it's fancy it's very christmas party-esque um because that's what i'm thinking about now when it comes to shopping it's velvet look at that thick velvet as well there isn't a blemish on it and it's a size 22 which is a nice good size i just think it's beautiful i think i can achieve around the 40 pound mark for this easily and i think it'll go quite quick because again christmas parties I know maybe people are going to be going to Christmas parties, but people are going to have a night out, aren't they? You can still have a night out at the minute. They are going to be going out, even if it's in just groups of six. 
to, you know, work picking them up. <laughs> right, this, I love this, I love it. So, Pepperberry, has anyone heard of this make? This is a great make, look it up. Six pounds, size 18. This is gorgeous. Now, I bought this because of the make. I bought this because of the style. I bought this because I thought it was really pretty and I bought it because I think I can make 40 to 50 pounds on it. It's just lovely, look at it. Sequin, lovely detailing, flattering waistline. It's um, lined. It's got this lovely pattern to it, like a silver spot almost. Um, I don't know what the material is. Shall we see if I find anything exciting? Um, I didn't actually look. It's a super curvy line, which is great. No, nothing exciting. I don't even know what Lurex is. I've never heard of that. But yeah, I bought this for the style, the make and the profit to be made. It's beautiful. I think I can get 40 to 50 for that anyway, because it is gorgeous. Right, okay, next. Now the lady who I made friends with in the charity shop, she brought me out a few things. I'm just gonna put this back up here. She brought me out a few things and this was one of them. Eight pounds, sea salt Cornwall, size 14, dress with pockets. This is lovely. Now, I'm sorry, I'm such a short ass that I can't really show you it all in one go, but it is lovely. It's lined, it's cotton, it's gorgeous. Um, £40 for that, I think. Maybe even 50 who knows? It is lovely. It looks like it's hardly been worn. So, yeah, again, I always pick up sea salt at a good price. Did I show you the tag? I'm going to show you it again just in case I didn't. I think I did. I always pick up sea salt at a good price um, and obviously dresses are more sought after. Um, I don't always pick up tops but tops do sell quickly so it is something, sorry, just swiping something off. <laughs> it is something to bear in mind that tops sell quickly. It's a good thing. Right, okay, I've got some things in here as well that my husband got me um, so I'll show you them last because he got me those offline um, off a lady he bought a bundle off who had some stuff and he was like, do you want any of this? And I was like, yeah. Combined postage all over it. Anyway, this was £10. Haven't bought this before. Kath Kidson. This is a lovely dress that's got a button down front. It's actually open. There isn't a mark on it and it has like fruit all over it. How fabulous is that? Now, I don't know what I'm going to aim for on this. Hubby thinks I should go high, but I'm going to research it because I don't know a lot about Kath Kids and Clothes. Um, I think I'm probably going to go for about 40 to £50, pound, but I may put it on for more. It's got this lovely, like, textured detailing all over it. It's just really pretty. So, yeah. Bought that, thought I'd have a go on it. She brought it out for me and she was like, oh, do you buy Kath Kidson? And I said, well, I haven't before, but I think I'll give it a go. And yeah, same thing. She brought me this out as well. This was eight pounds. Kath Kidson, size 12. So it's just another one. It's just a little dress. It's like a mini dress. This is another one that looked great with a pair of boots and a hat. It's gorgeous flaring like a tea dress um lovely bought this again just thought i'd give it a go um it's got pockets but yeah i love the pattern um i love the style so yeah hence why i got it but again i think 40 30 40 pound on that easily okay where am i up to i think that is all my charity shop stuff so yeah, so what I was saying was my husband buys bundles a lot on eBay. Now I find men's clothing, um, the bundles are a lot better. So he does really well with things like that. But some lady that he bought a bundle of men's clothes off was also selling off a load of ladies clothes. I think she was having a bit of a clear out. So we got combined postage on these. So I paid about £8 an item, which is what I'd pay normally for for things like this so i'm going to show you what i got i know it's not the charity shop haul but 
I thought I will bang them on the end so I can show you what I've been buying. This is a cursed size 10 dress with like a, it's got like a dress underneath, like a cami style dress. Look with straps underneath it. It's beautiful. It's very antique looking. It's just black. But look at the detailing on that. I think it's gorgeous. Again, I think with Christmas coming up, Christmas parties and things, this could go. And I know that doesn't make it look very good because the dress is hanging out, but just because I've let go of the things at the top. But the, that does not hang lower. <laughs> this hangs lower. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I'm thinking 40, 50 pounds for that. And then I've got this one, which again is cursed, size 10. This is Cursed Couture. Now, I really love this. Just look at that. It's so pretty. It's got beads all over it. It's got the frilly corset top. And then this lovely, like, ruched style skirt. Very nice. Again, maybe 30 to 50 pound. I think I'd say that for the other one as well. Um, yeah that's a good one and then i got this one again which i love this is fenrite manson size eight these all need a good steam but this has got lovely lovely bead detail all around the neckline and lovely like jewels on the front it's gorgeous very creased i apologize and this is fully lined it's very silky again christmas party-ish i think 50 pound for that is really achievable just move my bag down there and then the last thing that he got me whistles size one i'm gonna have to google that because i haven't got a size one before but i love this look beautiful little cardigan with this lovely unique button it's lovely reminds me of tory birch for some reason can anyone else see that but yeah <laughs> sequins all over it absolutely beautiful it's lightweight it feels really nice i love the pattern the pattern's gorgeous obviously whistles is a great brand as well so this is why i buy whistles but this is just lovely i think this will go quick probably around the 40 pounds mark again so yeah overall a lot of great profits have been made as always, thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up because it really helps me out, please. And then, um, yeah, subscribe, hit the bell for regular content. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below or you can follow me on Instagram. In my Instagram link is in my channel, so go ahead, follow me on there. You can message me on there and chat about whatever. But yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I think I've made some good choices. I'm sorry I had no footage again, but like I say, I mean, I wouldn't have got much anyway because I was chatting and they were helping me out. So it's a bit weird for me filming when the staff are around looking at me. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, thank you ever so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.